Both teams slowly getting in lobby. So uh, we'll get that set going in just a few moments here. But this is going to be a very, very interesting set as MSU Aries coming into this as the number one overall seed. Indeed, indeed, the number one overall seed. However, uh, for those that don't know, I am a bit of a Banana Split fan. So uh, for those that forgot how uh, how many uh, capital characters I used for in the in the uh, in the division final stream last uh, season, uh, they know I am very excited to see this team back in action. And uh, I guess going into it, what are your impressions in this matchup? Yeah, uh, you know, taking a look at uh, what these two teams have to offer, uh, you know, with Banana Split coming in as the reigning champions, they have, just, you know, the, the deepest roster of everybody that is in this playoff pool so far. Banana Split with a roster six deep, and they basically kind of brought back the entire cast that won a championship last year. Hey, I mean, reboot for the second season of Friends, as I like to say. Um, so, I mean, I, I guess going off of that, uh, one of the main reasons is because uh, I, I like to refer to it as uh, Banana Split's uh, power of friendship, which was their yes. uh, main thing last season. And I guess coming up against uh, quite a stacked team from uh, MSU, right? Yeah, I mean, take a look at the people in this lobby right now. Andu, Ricky, Cuber. The, I mean, these are some, like, pretty badass names. And Arbiter now joining the lobby as well. It is a tight core four for Michigan State uh, that they will be playing with today. So uh, they're going to go ahead and start getting things set up here. Again, we're going to try to toss it back to Keon and Nito soon. But for now, we are going to go ahead and take you through the start of this one. Um, so with these two teams uh, uh, at the ready, MSU coming into this one as heavy favorites uh, because, I mean, with a roster like that, you have four of, you know, some of the most notable players in competitive split here. Yeah, so definitely a very daunting opponent here for Banana Split, but as we've seen, I guess, last season, and definitely this season, this team knows how to play. So, uh, going off just right here, uh, Give me MSU five to two on this one. I think that Banana Split is such a strong team. Uh, in my opinion, probably the, I would say, I think that they're probably the third best team here today. Uh, I mean, Red Embers, of course, came out swinging, so uh, we'll have to see. But uh, I, I do think that Banana Split does offer a lot here to kind of get MSU thinking. I think we'll get an MSU kind of bursting out early, but, um, so we're going to go ahead and run this one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess going quickly on mine, uh, I think there's a game nine. I will not say who it's up to you to decide <laughs> who I think. All right. Uh, going into it, double Splatana. Um, interesting coming out from a uh, banana split right here. Uh, notably the deco and the that's a match, uh, reset. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We are catching no breaks to start this set off. Um, all right. <laughs> oh gosh, gotta gotta love it. Um, so we'll go ahead and figure out what's going on in this lobby as uh, we continue to run just a little bit behind here. This match was uh, scheduled to kick off almost 30 minutes ago, but of course that eight game spectacular from Penn State and Red Embers uh, rightfully delaying the schedule here. Uh, so MSU, I, if, if I'm MSU right now, you, your goal is to make this quick because you want to get grand final started as soon as possible because there's a good chance that we run to the midnight hours of uh, on the East Coast. Real gamers know that the midnight hour is when you start cooking. And if we run into that, I am excited to see these comps. <laughs> like, yeah, certainly. So uh, we're going to go ahead and One, two. Uh, figure out what's delaying this lobby. But uh, we should One, two. be good to go here. Maybe they just... Uh... All right. Centilly. One two. Oh, let, let, let me let me text the One. themselves. And um, maybe two. <laughs> so well, let me also text yeah, them. No, It'll no, be we're, funny. We're, it's fine. We're, 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 we literally have MSU and Banana Split on the phone right now. Uh, so give us just a second. Um, so let's see. What? Oh. All right. So. Let's go ahead and... Uh, How's your text thread going? I know, huh? yeah. We're, we're slowly getting things situated here. Um, 
see. A T Looking at the wrong yeah. chat. Wait, I am. Hold no, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I've we got, got the wrong one. We got, we got two different Division One playoff chats, one for production and one for uh, our teams, actually. Um, Bold of you to assume I can read. You right. know, that's true. That is, you are a Splatoon player. Uh, yeah. And we know that college the, the, student. And uh, former college student, and natural weakness is reading. No reading. <laughs> nope. Can't be me. So, uh, we'll go ahead and kind of get things situated for them here. Um, so, it looks like they're more or less ready to go at this point. So, uh, we will get things started as soon as possible. Uh, it looks like uh, Banana Split's going to be switching VCs as well. Um, Please don't tell me they're switching the comp, because that double Splatano was spicy, and I wanted to see it. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we're getting things situated because they're also having a couple of VC issues, it looks like. Um, so we will hopefully be able to uh, get that sorted out here uh, as quickly as possible because uh, this timer's ticking. MSU's ready to go. Banana split, I think, trying to figure out what VC they belong in. And I guess, uh, okay, let's assume that the comps were consistent with what's going to happen. I know it wasn't it wasn't that long of a look, but how do you see the double Splatana playing out? I know I'm fixated on it, but it's cool, you know? Certainly. Well, uh, and, and that's probably what we're going to be seeing at Banana Split. I mean, MSU, we haven't gotten too many good looks at them this season. I think we've only had them on stream one time so far. So let's take a look at these compositions, what these yes. teams are going to uh, be bringing out. Okay, so it sounds like we've got those audio issues figured out. So diving into game number one, we're going to be throwing this one right back to Kion and Nito. Take it away. Thank you guys so much. Once again, we had to sort out the audio issues. They, they couldn't keep us locked out for long here, Nito, as we're about to see, see these comps go right at it. Um, and I'm actually really excited to see how this comp kind of just uh, works out here. And we do have our first new weapon here in the chill, chill season, which we'll cover right now, right, right then and there, as we do have a three down situation right out of the gate. And then things have suddenly changed. Changed. I cannot believe this whatsoever as the first push is in. Wow, lots of change up here. We also have the splatter color screen making its first appearance in this set. That's going to be a huge put that's going to be huge opening for MSU. MSU coming in with a lot of firepower on their roster. Lots of individual talent here. I know they have each have their results tied one but banana split is coming in with all the momentum in the world as a team uh they're going to be the defending cca league champions or the division one champions and they're showing it right here as they get the wipeout on msu yeah that's a really that's a really stellar push by msu to get to get this one rolling right along they actually did, able to take take the three members out from this banana split cop that has double wiper to say the least but it didn't but didn't really seem to materialize Right away for Banana Split. MSU already took, took full advantage. And that's right, right away. 35 points remain here. Nito's that's looking really good. And Andrew's down, but it's not but not without a train, of course. It is two members down. Banana Split will have to slow down most likely here as they get everybody back online. But right now, MSU already are going to be happy with that first push. Anywho. Ah, that's the worst thing to see if you're starting to try to make a push. Banana Split has the clams ready. You have a power clam and a, at least one on one in tow. They also have the, the power clam left at the basket in case they ever want to use that. But when you have two players go down like that, that kills all of your momentum. That just means there's nothing for you to work with. And you have nothing to respond to whenever MSU makes a big push like this as they get to the... Yes, they get to the basket, breaking open the barrier. They have 11 clams ready, 30, only 12 penalty points to go. That'll, keep, that'll take four clams from them, and they're just about able to clear it. No, they're not. That's three points remaining on those penalty points, and I don't think they're going to get them as Banana Split is able to clean up shop, keep them from getting some more points on the board, but they still have a long ways to go from here. Key thing to note there that UC Davis Banana Split uh, just had had was that they didn't pick up that pity claim that, that was there and they only, and all that MSU Aries did was just chunk down on some of those penalty points there so it could have been a few extra power clans that they wanted to take advantage of it but I think they're just going to be content keeping with just that one but they still need a big push they have three special available ain't there is no going to be no ink jump but there will be a hit a stamp down onto Riki no Riki there and there will be a double right right away and that wiper is going to get a double nicely done uh Zap does have does have hold of this uh power clam they're going to get the barrier broken just easily there are they going to be able to get a lot more points though it looks like it's going to be just to 77 points remaining here nito it looks like this push is is going to be done but this one at least cuts the cuts the deficit down just a bit 
anything that can get you closer and closer to the lead. It also boosts team morale, but it also says MSU has some weaknesses that they can exploit. And maybe Banana Split has some too. If MSU can get this wipe out here, they do choose to jump out, save that power clam. Gonna be a nice move there to save that power clam just in case they want to make another push. But they're gonna need to save this push from happening. MSU making a big push here. That's the color screen coming out. That's the inkjet coming out as well. Lots of things in advantage oh. for MSU. They get a few more clams in that. That penalty points are no longer. There's already oh. down to eight points remaining. Six power clams in tow. It's not going to take too long for them to get the lead here. And MSU starting to set strong with a KO over Banana Split. MSU Aries could continue where they left off just the, just last time in general there, and they and they only gained the, and continue on that trend very nicely coming in coming in this one. They had that first round by thanks again the first round get, thanks to finishing first in their group, and they look like they they they, they continue where they left off in the regular season. So that it, so that is, that is some excellent work that MSU Aries did, and Banana Split just went down uh, one after the other after the other, losing a lot of big fights along the way. And and I loved some of the some of that Trizuka play that they that they were all able to dish out to make sure that there is absolutely no defense whatsoever from UC Davis Banana Split. And I say there was a lot of individual talent on this team, and I and there it very much is. Um, Cuber is one of the top finished at the top eight during Riptide, the big land that happens apparently every September. There's there's also a big one that happens every May. It's called Low Intensity. Anyway, there's also <laughs> Arbiter who finished in the zone at 28. They finished 13th there. So there's a lot of talent in the MSU roster, but they did have a whole season to where they can figure out how to work this synergy, how to find out how to work better together. And you're starting to see a little bit of it here, the way they're able to coordinate these specials. We saw that la that last push there. There was the color screen, and we also saw the inkjet coming out. They know exactly what to do and exactly how to do it. So I, there's a lot of it you're noticing here. Banana Split still has lots of potential on the defensive side, stopping lots of the plays that MSU Aries has been able to make. And we're going to see if that plays out when we head into Game 2, which is Splat Zones on Barnacle and Dime. I want to touch qu quickly on Banana Split here while we're about to load in on Splat Zones. Is that some of the keys to victory here? They wanted to win a lot of the fights, build that momentum, and act fast off of it. They weren't able to build uh, most of that momentum right right away from that first map. So, this, so things will be a little bit slow uh, for them here. So I'd we'll love to see if you see if Banana Split is able to adjust just a tiny bit. We're gonna get a little bit of a throw throwback comp with a mix of everything. But there we got a ball point that Hero Shot replica and. The uh, Wiper Deco course, so they got missiles, but this is almost effectively a similar-ish comp from MSU Ares here. Key thing to note though, the Snipe Rider is available, so they got so they got some coolers available as well, but they are opting to keep the Fuzz Weezer for the screen. Lots of scrappy fighting all around, and the zone was capped by MSU Ares. MSU Ares are taking down on these one, on these penalty points. Uh, excuse, not, excuse me, the points remain. There are no penalty points whatsoever here, Nito. And not only do they have that range, they also have a lot of things that that, that Snipe Rider is able to offer. They have a lot of chip damage as well. Remember that the Snipe Rider doesn't just fire off one shot. There's a lot of shots in quick succession. So there's a lot Cuber can do there with that Snipe Rider. But Banana Split is going to be quickly finding a response here before things get any more of a dire situation. Up to 34 remaining is MSU Aries. But Banana Split moving quickly, mobilizing quickly. Getting, taking those keys to victory to use, they build that momentum, and now they're starting to, they're starting to act on it because you see how many players just rush into enemy territory there on that big push, getting down, getting them down to 70 remaining for the time being. But they do go two players down. Yeah, they do go two players down. They're gonna have to just give up the zones and then just play a little bit defensively here while, while the rest of the team respawns nicely. And MSU Aries, that's the first that's the first time they've lost the zone all game. They may start to lose it here as well. They lose both the Neo Splash and Arbiter and the. Will Squeezer on top of it, and now this will be a lot of painting being dished out, but this might be Ar Arbiter's chance to just neutralize it, and in fact, get give them the support they need in order to get the zones back just nicely. And now it's back to two members down. The sniper is just there to put down even more paint on that turf, and now Banana Split has, has is staggering here just a bit, reeking Arbiter up front, and now we get to get to see them try to try to zone them out as they are going to have to take down on these penalty points. Look at how able they're just, how quickly they're able to just paint the turf around them. That was an almost quick reaction. That's what Banana Split should be looking for. But MSU is doing it so well here. It causes Banana Split to just do a bit, put a bit more effort into getting back. Now you notice all of that paint is gone, but it took them quite a while. And Aries was already able to catch up on the penalty points here. Down to 25 points remaining. They do go two players down now. 
but they might have the Sniper Rider as well, unless the Sniper Rider is able to back up, not in time, the spot the Spotano Wiper able to clean that pick off, and now we're going to back to Banana Split Control for the time being, unless Aries has anything to say about it, and they do not, it's going to be a close one here, still fighting for control over the, to, over the zone, this might go towards Banana Split, unless these tri strikes have anything to say about it. two players down now, and it finally goes back to MSU. Yeah, yeah, MSG are now in decent position here. They get the zone to cap, and they got two special available. The screen, the screen, a very new, the new special coming in at first platoon. They do have that available as well. But of course, the Trident 2 Trezuka is there waiting in the wings. But um, Banana Split, they don't have, they don't have much time left. They lost two. Mm. Isn't helping matters. They lose the Trizuka on top of it here. Nito, this is gonna be Aries out of the penalty points here shortly unless things start to change in a fl in a flash. Oh, they get they, there's that team waiting in the wings, and there's Arbiter able to get a feel. That's three down. That's gonna be game over here, Nito. And MSU Aries will take this se second map home. It's gonna be 2-0 MSU Aries continuing on in this semis. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things that played in the favor of MSU Aries there. Um, Banana Split, for one thing, pops a Trizuka, but if you want to pop that Trizuka, you need to take the high ground there. It's a very dangerous spot for Banana Abbey to take in order to pop that Trizuka. They're able to take quick advantage of that, and then Arbiter doing a very good job playing all sneaky beaky like and getting those sneaky picks in order to secure the win for Michigan State, my third favorite big, uh, big 10 team. Go big red. I, you know, I, I, I am legally required to not to put Michigan State in the bottom of the list. No, it's, it's almost as if I'm alumni for another Big Ten rival rival here, even though we're not quite relevant elsewhere. Um, but that's not entirely <laughs> the that's not entirely the point. Oh man. Um, but but hey, Arb Arbiter cut with the weapons that he has dished, that he has dished out here. You got the Neo Splash there for the painting, and the Trip Tricks has has proven to be very useful during key moments where the the zone's being contested. So. Arbiter has done a has has done their part, but the rest of the team has really just looked really solid, just pretty much a well-oiled machine, if you will. And one quick thing here, Nito, because I do want to touch base. The case of the victory is hilarious. Don't troll <laughs> optional. Be better and have a stable internet connection. The internet connection is kind of an important prerequisite. Let's be real here. And then of uh. course, don't troll. We can't we can't be trolling here in your Splatoon games. I do I do need to make that uh, note there. But um, I'll, I'll, oh, uh, but man. we. Were, before we touch upon that, um, we got Busey and Dale Fentino on target control. Uh, one quick thing here, Nito. 100% win rate on target control for MSU Aries. 73%. Both teams with high win rates. We're about to go right into it. I mean, do you even really need those keys to victory here? I know MSU took a lot of time into thinking these up. Just uh, coming up with brilliant ideas such as be better. And we're going to see how they be better here. I do like the E-leader pick now from Banana Split. You were talking about range earlier. There's no better range than that E-leader is able to provide, especially against a comp like uh, Michigan State with they're bringing out their triple shooter comp. That's uh, three. That's uh, that's actually a V-shot and a new splash now. But that's going to be a lot of help there. And they have the not for good use just to make sure they can hold tight, play patiently whenever they need to. I like to quickly note here that's a double trip strike comp if anything. So they got they it will be raining trip strikes from MSU Aries, uh, with with that setup here, which I'm I'm gonna be curious to see how this works. I but I I do like the E leader choice as you mentioned there that uh, UC Davis been asked, but has has went back to. Uh, looks like Tower's kind of just stuck into this neutral position. The screen has been dished out there a little bit of a smoke screen if you will, uh, but not gonna be but it has but it, it seems to be helping a little bit. That's gonna be three members down. Gonna be the first checkpoint. No problem. Now it's gonna be Riki being set up here close to Banana Split's territory. E-Leader, by the way, going down, so they're gonna have to play a little bit more cautiously, I'd imagine, unless they can find some range picks there, but they're about to be rushing the second checkpoint, but the Nautilus is down, Arbiter is down, by the way, on the Neo Splash on top of it, but I think the Tower is gonna be slowly resetting, oh, now definitely resetting here. Nito, it's 57 oh. points remaining. Wow, look at that, a quick triple there. I know this is the last set, Banana Split's able to clean up so quickly on the defensive side here. You have, you can't help but think you want to see a little bit more of that in the offense. They're able to pick apart MSU Aries just because they know they're going to be aggressive on that offensive side. They want to get as many players into enemy territory as possible and try to disrupt Banana Split. Aries knows this and that they're <laughs> taking that to their advantage as one guy, as one player gets almost color, I mean, almost blinded. 
by color. Grayscaled, if you will. Grayscaled, if you will. There, it's a probably a better one. I am uh, jumbling around with my words here. But as I say that, they get so close to the lead. 59 points remaining, just barely inching towards that lead. I feel like I feel like this is kind of a showcase of both teams knowing how to play their, play their tower control maps very well. I mentioned before, both teams have very high win rates in tower control. Um, so it's a hey, so one of them is gonna have to give. Uh, but MSR is looking to keep that undefeated streak going. There, they take out two, and now they're just starting to try to punish the rest of the banana split. They're going super wow. aggressive. Look at the screen placement, and look at where everybody else is positioned. There, Riki. Uh, I believe was up there as well. Oh, that is gonna, be the, oh, that is gonna be the second checkpoint on top of Wicked's gonna have to attempt from the side, the 52 gals from Wicked's there, but no, no, that's Banana Split losing two right away. MSU Aries approaching his third checkpoint. They have, there's that Trisuka shot. That's a nice little Trisuka shot from Banana Abbey. But Nito, two down on both sides. This is looking to be MSU Aries' time, uh, uh, chance to score here. And it looks like they will be able to, no problem. This is gonna be 3-0 MSU Aries. Nito, I am witnessing MSU Aries just going on another mission. That is, uh, if you ever wanted to make a statement, that's exactly how you do it. I mean, MSU Aries, they're coming in against the defending champions, and even if they're, the, even if they're playing as a better team right now, they were looking as sort of the underdog just based on that alone. But now you're looking at three and zero. Almost a lockout situation. This is like the Sturgeon Shipyard of like score of scores here because they're down three and Banana Split's down three to MSU, who was considered the quote unquote underdogs. But now you're down three. Oh, you have to be thinking, okay, there is this team's legit, and there is a very good chance they could face Penn State in the next round. But we have to come up with something special here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. But we got ourselves, a, we got ourselves a little intermission here because we got our because we got some statistics we want to talk to talk about here as much as we uh, can, and then this will be uh, queuing up here shortly. Um, but I mean, I mean, Nito though, MSU Aries, they they're up three zero. Banana Split, I think we'll be happy for this for this small little intermission that, that that's gonna be uh, ha happening here. We gotta take a look. At how, at how this graph uh, pans out, because I think there were like three. One, one of them was both of them there was, was kind of a slow march for MSU Aries, and on the other side, you can see that Banana Split had a lot had a lot of um, um moments where they can where they can fight back. But man, but man, let's take a look at the stats here. Yeah, look, look at look at MSU Aries here, Nito. You know, Sixteen on the foil squeezer from Ricky. That oh, is incredible. Goodness. Uh, I, and Ricky has been playing such a important, such an important role, not based off of picks alone, but because of how well these color screens have been have been used during these matchups. You notice a lot of the a heavy usage of the color screen, and I think it's working out very well for MSC Aries. I noticed a lot in game two, in actually game three now, but game one, you notice that they have this sort of slow climb. But I, I think it's when you start to use a little bit more of that color screen. And at during that last push, they start to sneak up just a little bit more, get some few more points up on the board, and then you actually notice at the same time checkpoint three is acquired. They pop in another color screen just to clean things up. That's going to be huge, huge, huge push for them. Ricky proving to be very useful for MSU here. I mean, I mean, let's take a look at that last, the last push. You see the graph there. Look at the amount of members that just went down on UC Davis Banana Split on that last push, just trying to happen from defense. MSU Aries only, only lost two throughout all, through all that. Look, the, and the screen, and the screen pretty much kickstarted everything there as well. Where, where, where that screen gets popped, and then everything just went way out of control for MS, in favor of MSU Aries, and then they were just able to ride that tower all the way home. That was just honestly a lot of beautiful play. All around, all around bananas, but yeah, uh, there they lost both the two in the Nautilus, and then the first two just it was just Stagger City the rest of the way for this tower control map for uh, banana split. So I feel like for banana split, I think with this intermission in mind, you know, the last map where where that where that last push was just basically game over for a uh, banana split. They're probably gonna they're gonna give themselves a lot of time to kind of reshape focus, and hopefully they can play play to their keys that they need that they need to win. Yeah, we had mentioned earlier how much experience we have in this competitive field, especially collegiate Splatoon. There is a lot you need to know about when a team's down huge. Like, we're talking a three down, three points down situation. You start to think, okay, we need to keep ourselves together because this is, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's still not, it's not necessarily a complete sweep. We have, 
what it takes to stop MSU, and we've done it before. But now we're down 3-0, and and we're starting to think, oh, wow, MSU is starting to come up big on us. What can we do, and how can we respond to this? Because this is quite a threatening team. If the score hasn't shown it, then maybe this next match at Rainmaker Crab Leg is going to show it to you because they've been doing so well here. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I liken, the, liken the MSU Aries as a well oiled machine. I mean, a lot of their play has been so clean for a good chunk of it. Yes, they were. They probably did lose objective in a few moments, but they could have just, you know, kicked it up to, a, to another level. So this Crab Leg Rainmaker map. Honestly, on both sides, as this is actually an incorrect substitution here. By the way, just 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 want to point that out real quick. That is not. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> DR, DRF has declared traitor uh, to, to, uh, the, to, to, to UC. Wow. This is signing. That's how many? I, how much help does Banana Split need? Okay, so this is gonna be now a five v four. Is what is what is what's coming up here? The, the Noel's just sitting there in the spectator spectator side here. I actually, let's be honest here. I think they're gonna terminate the lobby here because that is definitely not at all what what was supposed to be happening. Oh man! To, to be fair, DRF is the head honcho in CCA. So theoretically, you can throw away the rule book here. And we can have a very funny matchup, DRF. Come on, we need to see you just go ahead Come straight on. for the objective. No. That's not the objective. Why are you no. going down? No, you're not supposed to go out of bounds like this. This is not allowed in the... Okay. <laughs> and then there it is. Okay, so oh, first of all, we're going to get goodness. Nick... This is going to go against DRF's K KA for, for the season here, uh, here in the CCA League. So take, take that as you will. Uh... <laughs> I, I don't remember, like, a sudden 5v4 that, that occurred there. That was beautiful, Nito. And, and, and I think you're right, though. Maybe Banana Split needed all the help they could get. So they want to get DRF in as soon as, you, as, soon as possible. Uh, we're going to need to look at the transfers, uh, the transfer section. I'm not right, sure. Yeah. When did it... So wh I need to look into, like, actual collegiate stuff. Because when did DRF uh, transfer to UC Davis? I don't remember this happening but in this case i do have my pro controller with me if either of you <laughs> need a player i remember the drf is looty div 2 i'm div 3 so we could have an even matchup here all it's all i'm saying you, you know what you know, put your name out there put your name out there need to just be the emergency sub that we have all desperately needed that was that was very beautiful all right but we, we gotta kick it back up to it to another notch though that was that was pretty funny though i mean i mean we made there might have been some composition leaks for like three of the four players there but uh <laughs> i i assume that i think i assume that i don't i assume the game plan doesn't change the key question will be what will noel dish out for ucd for ucd uh banana split uh -huh. and i think this yeah and i think there's a lot of things i can theorize on that part but now now we got everybody on the right team we, we put drf back on the bench drf is drf now can now be arrested here let's take a look at the weapons here cuber by the way on a different um back backline weapon all things considered and now we get to see the double wipers again oh right yeah no the well was probably going to bring out the wiper deco and if it if anything it's going to be to try to disrupt the the anchor in Cuber using that ballpoint nouveau, or not the ballpoint nouveau, the, the vanilla ballpoint. But really, the, I still think they should probably focus on Ricky a little bit more. Ricky has been doing so well and proving to be a key, playing, proving to play a key role in MSU's victory so far. So I think as long as you can try to disrupt Ricky, make sure they're not popping off as many color screens or actually just going off on t on little at, at fights like this and you going down there for uh, MSU. Banana Split proving to be in a little bit of trouble. That Wiper Deco is going to have to pop missiles fairly quickly just to make sure you don't lose him in a fight here. Actually going to help them move up just a little bit more in a well here. Getting a few picks now. That's one player That's one player down. Andu goes down and that's Banana Split getting themselves into the game. Three players down now. For banana split MSU looking at a delayed triple. Yeah, yeah, and that will be MSU on, on a delayed triple. I think it even effectively a delayed wipe and no lemon misses the jump. That's the that's oh. a, I see what MSU I saw what uh, MSU I saw what Lemon was trying to do there by the way with um trying to trying to use the rail to just jump up for, for that for that quick one and had that actually landed that would have been great <laughs> for uh Lemon oh. Lemon touches <laughs> a bit of the screen it's grayscale time and then unfortunately gets caught up by by Andu it is gonna be a two for two trade that Rainmaker is gonna just be stuck on that top on that top bat side over the greats Ancient is being used Ancient actually punished there and that will be Arbiter going down signs of life maybe for a uh, banana split Nito. 
and maybe that intermission was the thing they needed. Now they're going straight for the lead. Now up to 71 rays remaining. They just need to clear the checkpoint. That gets them closer. Not quite the lead. They go, they go two players down, three oh. players down. That could be a wipeout. Banana Abbey's in a bit of a dangerous spot there. Does go down. That's the wipeout for MSU Aries. And MSU Aries getting back to work with a complete momentum shift with the wipeout. And the, and the worst thing about jumping in jumping in when you're completely outnumbered is that you're just gonna get punished big time and that's what and that's what ended up happen, happening there. Banana split tried to make something happen, tried to push for even more points out of the board, but it just did not happen. And they end up they end up getting themselves wiped out, and MSU Aries was able to get a lot more out of it. And now this is gonna be MSU Aries uh basically being in position, just trying to just trying to pick this one up. Arbiter takes up this Rainmaker. Alright, uh, now we gotta see how where this Rainmaker goes towards stamp barely missing arbiter arbiter does go down but it is gonna be 34 points made, and then two members down from the use uh from uh bananas but make that three as well this will be cuber likely picking up this rainmaker trying to make the jump Ooh. again this is the jump <laughs> what is with, with members missing the jumps here in crab leg this this rainmaker is now stuck at the bottom bottom here areas will just have to climb back up again if they want to take advantage Everyone knows green squids can jump, and apparently neither can magenta squids because both of these both of these teams have been missing these jumps so far. And one thing I think Banana Split is missing is just the ability to play defense so well. The problem here is not their defense, but how much they're staggering in picks like these because MSU picks them oh. up ever so slightly with wipeouts like that. That's even worse because they keep being staggered. They keep themselves in a staggered stance. That just proves to be so difficult for them to come back to because they don't have their full their full five. I mean, their full four. That makes oh. it very difficult. And they can even get the Chikeo from here. MSU Aries on a roll at match point now. 4-0. We're witnessing... One, one of, if I'm not mistaken, the best team out of CCA, demolished the defending champions of Division One from the CCA League the season ago, and uh, MSU Aries. This was this was one of those te those teams where everybody had their eyes on MSU Aries because of how powerful they were. I don't think anybody really expected a 4-0 and Banana Split having to reverse sweep to make grand finals. I mean, this it was a scrappy fight, a little bit of a jumping error, if you will, but MSU Air, um, it, uh, let's put it this way, Banana Split had the first checkpoint and then just got way too greedy trying to go for more points, and then MSU Air took that momentum and swung it right back at them. And I think so, that's really how that map just played out. So let me remind you that at Penn, at Michigan State has only lost one game the entire season, and that's due to a DC. So, it's almost no surprise that despite nah. me calling them the quote-unquote underdog just because they're going against defending champions, this is, there's no surprise that MSU is just can, has the ability to just steamroll Banana Split. I know Banana Split did have, did go 4-1 and, four and one losing to PSU, but they did have a bit of a shaky path here. Michigan State, if anything, is proving their absolute dominance here in Division 1 by take by getting just one game away from being the division champs and that we're in the game five now clan blitz on eel tail did, did they keep this up this is an easy cruise for them into the finals we're gonna i'm gonna note a quick statistic here for msu aries they have been undefeated in the three games of eel tail alley uh the, in the three games they played in eel tail alley this season this is a, so small sample size but it is an undefeated record so michigan state has that going for them UC Davis Banana Split has to basically find something to stop this onslaught that MSU, uh, that this Michigan State team has. And, that's, and I think this is just one of those cases where it's not like one or two you can focus. focus. You have to figure out how to, do, how, how to deal with the rest of the team uh, the rest the, uh, this entire way through. You have basically, the, the thing is that Cooper been, has been flexed through many different um, backline weapons, but the rest of the team has been playing either triple shooters and Arbiter I've seen so far being on Neil Splash duties at this point. At this point, so Banana Split has a lot of work cut off for them. They have to win five in a row. It's going to be exhausting to get there, but it has to start now. The thing that they got going going against them, MSU Aries knows how to play this specific map, not necessarily mode, but this specific map. So we got to see what gets played here. Cuber is going to be on the on Snipefighter duties. Match point, by the way, for MSU Aries. They, they play Penn State. What do you see? Oh, this is very aggressive here. They're deciding. See that? See that three comeback? Three comeback mains on Banana Split. This is just yep. going to be full send composition. They're just going to see. They're going to go in and see what happens because they know they're playing. They know they've been 
Hawks facing a bit of a staggered stance here. So what they're going to try to do is just see how they can play off of that staggered stance and keep things going. They want to just keep their foot on the gas pedal and see where it gets them. That's what I'm starting to see from them. But oh, oh. they're sliding right past Noel. Able to get the power clam in. Do they have anything to follow up with? They have four clams ready. But will they get close enough to put those clams in before the basket closes? No, they do not. That's going to be 80 easy points for MC Aries. But now Banana Split has a spare power clam in tow. I mean, I mean, one and done is is actually probably the most effective one and done we'll see here because look at the amount of territory MSU Ares has. They have a lot of ground they covered here in Heel Tail. And Banana Split has lost on a delayed triple, by the way. They just need one more clam, and there's Andu. They're able to get that one in, and now this is just starting to become an onslaught of clams. And this is only a minute left, a minute to go, oh. by the way, for this Heel Tail clams. You see Davis Banana Split has to just chase MSU Ares out of their base, but this is also Heel Tail where there's so many avenues to get the pushes in. They're able to at least successfully stop, but look at this already. It's two members down. They have to pick up this pity clam, the original pity clam to spawn the second pity clam. But Banana Split has, is, has been playing defense for about the first minute and a half. I mean, let's talk about the map, too. Eel Tail Alley is so narrow that it almost works so well to MSU's oh. favor. I mean, it's so narrow. And we've been talking all day about how Ricky... Has, I've been talking about all, all day about how Ricky has been able to do so well with the Squeezer. That's another power clam for MSU. He's bringing it down to 46, remaining with a few more clams for, uh, for, for size. But now, we've been talking oh, about man. that power... We've been talking about that Squeezer. Talk about these comps. They're so all they need to do is shoot four, and they can at least hit one player on Banana Split. That's a delayed wipeout. Or actually, delayed wipeout for MSU Aries. But Banana, but there's keep things going with a few players down to 22 points remaining. Banana Split. This comp is just not working out so well for them, especially when MSU is starting to become slightly favored here, just based on how this map is and how everything else is going for them. You want, you want to know the thing too? The amount of range that Banana Split has is gonna get is gonna get out uh, outdone by either by the Squeezer or the Sniper or any anywho. So they have to play. They have to find some of these uh, some of these openings and then just get get them out of out of there fast. And as we've seen, the first two and a half minutes now has been Banana Split playing defense. It is the worst place to be. And they have also and they have also lost two right away. Now it's delayed triple. Here's another oh, push. Oh, oh my goodness. And now that's three. And this is gonna be all the small clams. And this is gonna be five more for the KO. Could they take this KO home? And then play Penn State for the Grand Finals. They do just oh, that, you know. Oh man. Talk about a talk about a set that defined the statement. Oh man. Penn State Blue plays MSU Aries for Grand Finals in Division One. Oh, there yeah, it's it, it's a big it's a big ten showdown we're about to see in grand finals and new right. after this big matchup we saw last last time with uh Penn State and Illinois State with the Red Embers, the MSU comes in and says, All right, bring bring out the brooms. It's time to show them <laughs> what a sweep looks like. And I mean, look at it. 5 0. They just cleared Banana Split, who came in as defending champions. Now they're going to now they're going to play in the third place matchup at Michigan State. I'm, that's one heck of a way to tell PSU, hey, we're ready. Like, first off, you gotta hop back on. Two, we're ready for you. I mean, we just went five and zero. Oh. Get ready. I mean, I know <laughs> Penn State has a div that's div two div two players on him. There's two players from uh uh d d map mode GTS, supremacy right? yeah yes. no map mode supremacy i'm not yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry not DOF, but there's a lot of there's a lot of talent there and a lot of synergy there msu set msc sees that and says are you ready for what's coming <laughs> so you're right this is a this is a big 10 matchup good the minute you brought that up now i'm like oh, okay now we're gonna get a big 10 10 showdown here and we're gonna get we are gonna get stats and grass for this eel tail alley which as i meant for there was no push available from bananas but i don't think i think there is a lot to know here it took four pushes oh. by the way <laughs> you know yeah this was a this was one of those things where bananas Split was in the worst place you could ever you could ever be and that is to have to play defense the entire game and then with no chance to push up msu areas i i mean there's so many things that we could cover here but again screen the, the screen on the third push to kickstart everything else was probably that's probably one of those uh, pushes. Yeah, and yeah, one of the even though we saw both teams lose four, look at how effective that push was. It went from 57 all the way down to 22. They got penalty points, and then everything was just all she, all she said and done when everybody when they took out the rest of UZ. There was Vanessa split at the very end. My goodness, I think MSU Aries is ready. 
Not, I mean, no way, surely. But this graph almost looks like MSU stocks going up. I mean, do you think about how I was talking about Ricky being so helpful here? And you'll notice that too with the graph and the way those color screens are popping up at the same time that big push near the or near the end in the middle goes up so well or how it just goes straight back up if, if, if penn state's watching i need to focus on what they're doing to get these big pushes and you can kind of see what's going on with this graph here as long as you stay together and the only thing I saw from Banana Split going was that they kept themselves in a staggered stance. Penn State just yeah. needs to hold themselves together, and they've been able to do that pretty well here. But now you're facing MSU Aries, which is going to be their biggest competition yet, I think. Biggest competition is almost the understatement of the year, it feels like, <laughs> for the CCA League. Because MSU Aries looks so good throughout, throughout this entire set. And yeah, and there were moments where they looked pretty weak. The Rainmaker map, notably here, and again, the, this eel tail graph. As you mentioned, the stocks just just shot up through the roof. Basically, is the best way to phrase, phrase it. But PSU Blue has their hands full. They now have an idea with uh, with what they're dealing with if they're tuning in to the CCA side of the fence. And I think they might be. I mean, they gotta be. They gotta be battle ready for this one because, my goodness. Um, Good luck is all I'm going to say about that. But MS Uri's, hey, hey, congratulations on completing that amazing 5-0 sweep. It is worth noting that in the individual experience section, you do have a, a, a few tidbits from MSU's roster. Then you look at Penn State, and then you've got this whole resume going on here. I mean, Kraken has a whole section of themselves. So does Vapor, Snow, Jay. I mean... That's some um, hello. This is a matchup in the making. Penn State and Michigan State are about to go up against, about to go up in what I think might be one of the best grand finals we've seen so far. But I can't discredit Banana Split just yet. It yeah. sounds cliche, I know, but let's think about what's about to happen between Banana Split and Red Embers. Red Embers being the up and coming team. They just went into playoffs. This bitch went into playoffs, went against um, Penn State, and gave them a battle of a lifetime. So this third place matchup isn't exactly something you should look away from. Or not? Yeah, Penn State. They gave Penn State a run for their money. So there's a lot. There's still something to look out for here. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll be cut, we'll, we'll be cutting um, ourselves actually to uh, actually to an intermission here soon, Nito. But all things can. Uh, but. All things considered here, yeah, I gotta give credit to Bananas, but I mean, their season went so well, they just had to run into a juggernaut. Let's let's be honest here. They ran into a juggernaut in MSU Aries, and then Red Embers, as you mentioned, the they, even though you lost 3-5, and it sets up the third place matchup between um, Red, em Red Embers and what, um, the, it, it, versus Banana Split. I mean, both teams just really played their hearts out. Hearts out. I mean, Banana Split just had a really tough assignment. I gotta give so much credit to um, both these seasons and how far they've gone, but the, the spotlight is going to be on this grand finals between MSU Aries and PSU Blue, but uh, Nito, I think this is going to be it for both of us here because we will be going to an intermission break here soon, but before we leave, where can the people find you first? Correct. This is the last time we'll be seeing me for a, while, for a bit now. I know we're going to head back into the, the studio, but if you want to find me, I'm going to be on Twitter and I'm going to be on Blue Sky and even Twitch at Nito and Used. If you're looking for me on Blue Sky, that's Nito and Used at Blue Sky Social. And if you also want to find me, I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to be heading towards the other Big Ten team very soon. So uh, watch out for Creamed Corn. And there's a reason I said go Big Red. So uh, again, go Big Red. Where can we find you, Keon? First of all, I now I have to have, now I have to have another pl pl uh, player to hate just for being in the Big Ten. This is great for me, quote unquote. Uh, you guys can find me Twitter, Blue Sky, and Twitch Kion two five seven zero. Twitter and Blue Sky is just my nonsense posting that I usually do there. Uh, Twitch I do stream Splatoon, but I'm also primarily a variety, so smash the follow buttons on all three of those um, of those places if you want to uh, if you want to follow me for that. Nito, thank you for have uh, for being an amazing co-com, taking us through that amazing um, th that amazing MSU Aries dominance. Um, but it, but we got to cut over to an intermission break uh, with Nito. I'm Keon saying thank you guys for tuning into this uh, semifinals. Grand finals will be here shortly, so you don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> 